Hello everyone, no long introductions today. We are to immediately proceed to the news. Subscribe, give us a like and write your predictions for today's clashes of the year quarterfinals. Switzerland, Spain and Belgium, Italy. Alright, we are about to begin. Let's get it started. Manchester United is close to signing Rafael Varane. The transfer of the Real Madrid defender is estimated at 50 million euros. Frank Ribéry left Fiorentina. The Frenchman negotiated with the Violets about the extension of the contract, but in the end, the parties could not meet each other's needs. Matis de Ligt stays in Juventus. The old lady will not negotiate on him. After signing Jadon Sancho, Manchester United's next priority is to update the contract with Bruno Fernandes on much better terms. The leadership of Barcelona is intended to keep Griezmann. Antoine will only be sold if there is a good offer. Friends, we wanted to say you thank you so much for your daily support. We also want to say thank you for your support of our brand new BAMAS project. We already have almost 1000 subscribers. And we have prepared for you a new video about Alvaro Morata. He is threatened to be killed. Now that is disturbing. Be sure to subscribe to our new project and watch the new release. I am also on the voiceover there. We'll leave the link in the pinned comment, in the card and in the final screen. Well, we are to continue. Barcelona is considering signing Marcelo Brozovic in case Mir Olympianich leaves. Sociedad and Alexander Isak have extended the contract until 2026. Liverpool, Real Madrid and Man City were interested in the player earlier on. Messi needs Barca and Barca needs Messi. I'd bet he will stay. Xavi assured. Tottenham approached Barca on the loan of Mir Olympianich. I respect Belgium, but we'll need to play as we know. We are aware of our qualities," Roberto Mancini said. It's a shame that Belgium and Italy are facing each other in the quarterfinals. The best teams in terms of statistics," Roberto Martinez said. A post on Ronaldo's Instagram costs $1.6 million. Cristiano now has the first place in this indicator. Former coach of RB Leipzig, Julian Nagelsmann officially started his work at Bayern. Barcelona plans to announce the return of Kais Ruiz Atil early next week. The contract of the midfielder with PSG has expired. PSG wants to return Moise Keane. Paris wants to loan a striker with a buyout option. We understand that the expectation is for England to win. But remember, this tournament has been one of surprises and we believe we can cause another one on Saturday. Ruslan Malinovsky supposed. Arsenal is ahead of the rest in the fight for Manuel Locatelli. The offer was received from them only, said Sassuolo sporting manager Giovanni Carnevali. A Madrid court stated that UEFA can't exclude Super League clubs from its tournaments. Real Madrid will extend the contract with Nacho until 2023. He's been with the club for 20 years. Juventus and Inter are interested in adding Jaco. Mourinho will decide in the future of the striker in Roma. Martin Caceres left Fiorentina. He became a free agent. Declan Rice seems interesting for Manchester United and Chelsea. The midfielder rejected West Ham's offers to extend the contract. Leeds and Barcelona are about to finish Junior Fierpe's move. The transfer amount is 15 million euros plus bonuses. The first transfers of Jose Mourinho at the head of Roma should be Granit Xhaka and Rui Patricio. In the upcoming days, Lazio and PSG will negotiate the transfer of Joaquin Correa. The Premier League clubs will regret leaving the Super League sooner or later, noted Juan Laporta. Manchester United wants to get Harry Kane, Declan Rice and Pau Torres after Jadon Sancho's transfer. Fenerbahce is negotiating the transfer of Artem Zuba. Belgium may be a little more experienced, but the squad of Italy is full of enthusiasm, Thierry Mobile said. Zenit wants to sign Giovanni Simeone. Marseille is also the contender for Cagliari striker. And now it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. From now on, and officially, Borussia has confirmed an agreement with Man United on the transfer of winger Jadon Sancho. We are not happy with the money we have received and Borussia is rather sad that he is leaving, said Hans-Joachim Watzke, the chairman of the board of directors of Borussia. The financial statement of the deal notes that the transfer will have the amount of 85 million euros. At the same time, possible additional bonuses were not mentioned at all. 
Although, earlier on information appeared that Dortmund representatives could also receive an additional 10 million euros. To complete the signing, Sancho needs to successfully pass a medical examination at Manchester. The Englishman will receive a five-year contract. Besides, it was reported that he will earn more than £250,000 a week in the English club, taking bonuses into account. Breaking news! Sergio Ramos will sign a contract with PSG until 2023, according to journalist Fabrizio Romano. The Spaniard will undergo a medical examination in the upcoming days. It's noted that PSG contacted Ramos's agent back in January, and the actual negotiation process began in April. PSG immediately offered the player a contract for two seasons, as he won it. The Parisians want to announce the transfers of Ashraf Hakimi, Sergio Ramos and Gianluigi Donnarumma in the next 15 days. According to RMC Sport, the Spaniard received two offers from the EPL, with one of them being more profitable than in the case of the Parisians. Nevertheless, Ramos chose to perform for the capital of France. There are disagreements between Kylian Mbappe and Antoine Griezmann. The players were having a conflict during Euro 2020. On the part of Mbappe, there is envy of Griezmann's influence on the national team, like Quip reports. Relations between players haven't been the best since the triumph at the 2018 World Cup. Mbappe was one of those who supported the idea of Benzema returning to the national team. His comeback created an impact in Griezmann's position on the pitch. Also, their relationship was influenced by Mbappe's selfish behavior. Griezmann, unlike the PSG forward, has a reputation as a player who thinks about the team primarily. Juventus sporting director Federico Cherubini commented on the future of Cristiano Ronaldo. The current signs from the player, the club and his representatives do not indicate a departure for Cristiano, who for us is the center of the project. Unfortunately, I do not have a crystal ball and I do not know what will happen in the future. But at this moment the situation is this, and we are happy to have him. He did not give us any sign that he wants to leave. We are talking about a player who last year scored 36 goals in 44 games. Numbers do not say everything, but they hide many realities. We are happy that when his well-deserved rest period is over, he will join the team for preseason," concluded Cherubini. Barcelona president Joan Laporta had a say about the situation with the extension of the contract of forward Lionel Messi. I would like to say that Messi is staying and he wants to stay. Everything is going as it should, and we are trying to find a solution that suits everyone. But it all comes down to fair play. I would like to announce that he is staying with us, but I can't yet. However, we are still working on it, Laporta said. Today, the meeting of the president of Barcelona, Joan Laporta, and the head of La Liga, Javier Tebas, is to take place. The parties will discuss the situation with Messi's contract. The Catalan club intends to conclude an agreement with the Argentine, according to which the striker will play for the club for the first two years and then become its ambassador. In order not to exceed the salary ceiling, Barca wants to distribute the amount of payments in favor of Messi not for two years, but for a longer period. It's noted that Tabas is against such a step. Because of that, the question of extending a contract with Messi remains uncertain. For the ending, we'll have the most perturbing piece regarding the future of Lionel Messi. For the first time, Joan Laporta saw the renewal of Messi's contract as significantly complicated, said El Larguero journalist Manu Carreno. If Barcelona cannot agree with La Liga on a financial fair play settlement, then Lionel Messi could leave indeed. And the Manchester City and PSG will enter the race. Friends, follow our new BAMAS project and watch a video about the hardship of Valvera Morata's life. The video is in front of you. Check it out for yourself. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you just in a bit.